Hey guys, so today we'll be going through the routing section and specifically uh, the VLAN section under the routing um, and how it works and how to create a VLAN and different options um, and so on. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here is the uh, Dresden VLANs page. So you go to security and SD-WAN and Dresden VLANs. And on this page, if you scroll down, you'll have the VLANs option. So at the moment, VLANs are disabled by default when you claim an MX into your dashboard network. Also, if you're running a, your MX in pass-through or VPN concentrator mode, uh, you won't be able to enable VLANs at all. Uh, so if I go into routed mode and then you'll see I have a single LAN. So let's go ahead and enable VLANs by clicking on VLANs. And as you can see, I have VLANs enabled, um, well, pre-configured before I um, set it. So um, dashboard remembers that and it's already placed it in. Um, so let's go ahead and scroll down and enable these VLANs by clicking save. So now, I have VLAN, so when you enable VLAN, you'll have two options, subnets and purport VLAN settings. We'll go through this in a separate video, so we'll just focus on subnets here. So as you can see, I got three VLANs, one, two, and three. Um, if I wanted to modify a VLAN, I just click into it, and it here brings up the option to modify a VLAN. Uh, so I have my VLAN name, I could rename it to a new uh, name, uh, let's say default one and VLAN ID 1. Uh, group policy is another option you can apply to VLAN and also you can enable, you could set the VLAN to be in VPN mode. So let's go ahead and just enable that for, for, for demonstration purposes and I'm going to click next. Here you have the MX IP address in that, well for that VLAN and you'd have the subnet of 192.168.1.0 and also you have IPv6 config is enabled. So this is for when your ISP, uh, let's say on WAN1, one, is able to give IPv6 addresses out. Um, and what it will do, it will send those IPv6 addresses down to this VLAN. Um, so essentially, the clients can get an IPv6 address. So if I, I guess if I draw it out, let's say you have your MX and then you have your ISP and then you'll kind of have a client on your MX on the LAN. So the IPv6 will come down into the MX on the WAN and then that will be able to be redistributed uh, down to your clients. So essentially that's what that is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna preview and click, um, sorry, uh, you could also, sorry, preview the changes. So um, you could kind of like it's a summary of what you've configured. So as you could see, I've renamed it to default one and I'm just gonna update. So now you can go scroll down and click the save option as well. Um, so this is uh, now showing default one and made the changes and so on. Um, if I wanted to create a VLAN, if I click on add VLAN and let's say uh, I wanted to just create a VLAN for my finance department. So let's name that, sorry, finance. And what we'll do is put a VLAN ID of four and the group policy option, we're going to leave it blank and we're not going to put it in VPN mode. So let's click next and let's create 192.168.4.1 and the subnet is 192.168.4.0 forward slash 24. Uh, I'm going to disable the IPv6 config and you can click a preview and here's all the preview and I'm just going to click update. Now that's available there, um, but I also remember you always also have to go scroll down and click save. Now I have my fourth VLAN, sorry, fourth VLAN enabled, and it's there for me to modify. And let's say if I wanted to delete the VLAN, I didn't want it, um, I would just click on this box and I'd click delete and then click that option delete. And that will get rid of the VLAN completely. Um, just also, I just wanted to mention this search function, which can be very handy. So let's say I just wanted to see all the VLANs that have IPv6 enabled. So let's say for security reasons, I don't want this enabled no more because it's just leaving me open to something that I'm not using. So I'm just going to click on these now and disable this. So I'm just going to disable 
uh, IPv6 and as you could see my default VLAN has gone and I'm going to do the same for my VLAN to my sales VLAN and now I don't have any options which have IPv any VLANs which have IPv6 enabled. Uh, you could do, get more granular as well and you could look at kind of VLANs which have a group policy, a certain type of group policy. I don't have any at the moment so can't select anything. You could select to see which VLANs have been enabled for example have been enabled for IPv6 at the moment it's showing and has VPN enabled but let's say turn that to any uh, and you can see I have my default VLAN enabled in VPN. Um, also you could click on security gate and SD1 and if you go to site to site VPN page you can see the VLAN is enabled so here you have your local networks and you could see this option has turned to enabled and let's say if um, I didn't want that enabled no more uh, I could disable it from here or I could disable it from there but I'm going to just show you disabling it from here and let's preview let's click update let's scroll down and click save and then let's take a look okay yep so the VLAN uh, sorry let me cut that out and the VLAN no longer has VPN mode so this at the moment if I refresh this page it's going to show that the VPN is disabled for this VLAN. So I think that's pretty much everything that you could go through uh, on this subnext section. I hope it's helped. Thank you.